hey guys welcome back again so in this video let's see how do we delete a to do and how do we update a to do so this button here that is this delete to do fires this function here that is delete a to do so let's implement first that how to how do we delete a to do so for that firstly we need to get a to do that we want to delete so let's see how do we get a to do by its id so firstly let's go to to do dao dot java file here and let's create a method here inside this interface that is to do dao interface to get a to do by its id so let's make a method here that returns a to do so to do and it should be called uh, the method name should be called find to do by id so find to do by id and it should take one parameter and that is the integer parameter of the id so let's call it uid that is the unique id and now this should be annotated with query because we want to find a to do so let's annotate it with query and now here inside this query thing we would pass in the query that we want to execute here inside our room database and this would be select all from and then we pass in the table name that is the to do table so where uid and that would be to do uid because this is the property name of our to do class or the to do entity and to do underscore uid is the name of the column field here and here inside our entity class we can see that we have a property called uid which is of integer type and then we have a column info above this property which says that the name of the column of this property inside the c table would be to do underscore uid so that's what we require there that is the to do underscore uid that is where to do underscore uid like the uid we passed here as a parameter inside this find to do by id method here so now let's find that to do by id so let's go to our main activity and inside this delete a to do method let's find that to do so we would create a new thread so new thread new runnable because all database operations need to be done on a background thread and not on the main thread so now let's find that to do so to do to do equal to to do room database dot get instance and the instance we can get from the application context and then we can access the to do DAO and then we can find the to do by id so let's find to do by id and here let's pass an id so firstly let's see what all to do's we have inside our room database so let's open our application and let's click on get all to do's and we see here that we have three to do's that is with uid 1 2 and 4 so let's find this to do with an id of 4 so let's pass here 4 inside this find to do by id method here and now let's log it inside our console so log d just to log the to do here so to do dot to string like this and now let's run our application again and now let's click on delete a to do it won't delete a to do but rather it would right now only find the to do with that id that is with the id of 4 so let's click on delete a to do and here we see that we that this method returned us a to do with an id of 4 and the text field and the completed field so now let's see how do we delete this to do so it's pretty simple to do so firstly we need to write a method inside our DAO object here that is this DAO interface so let's uh, write a method here and this method would return nothing so it would be void and let's call our method delete to do so delete to do and this would take in the to do as a parameter here like this and now to delete a to do what you can do you can simply annotate it with delete so let's annotate it with delete like this and now what we can do we can go back to our main activity here and we can simply access that method by using this thing here that is to do room database dot get instance dot get application context dot to do dao dot delete to do and here we can simply pass in the to do that we have fetched here with an id of 4 and now it will delete that to do and now let's log something here that the to do has been deleted so log d uh, to do has been deleted now let's run this application again and let's open our log cat and let's also open our application here so firstly let's get a list of all to do's so here we see that we have the four three to do's that is with uid 1 2 and 4 so now let's click on delete a to do and now we see firstly we are logging in this to do with uid 4 and now we get this console message here that the to do has been deleted 
by this thing here. So now let's get a list of all to do's again to see whether the to do has been deleted. So let's click here, get all to do's. And now we see that here we only have two to do's that is with UID 1 and with UID 2. And the to do with the UID 4 has been deleted from our database. So it's as simple as that to delete your to do or delete any row from your table inside your room database. So now let's see how do we update a to do. So again, it's very simple to do. So firstly, what we want to do, we want to go to this DAO object here or this DAO interface here and we need to create a method here that is update to do and again it would return nothing. So let's uh, make it void and it should be called update to do like this and it would take to do as the parameter here and it would be to do to do and not it should be simply annotated with update and nothing else. And your update method has been complete here inside your interface to do DAO. So now let's go get back to main activity and here inside our update a to do method here and this method is fired when we click on update a to do that is this button here. So let's write some code here and again I'm making a new thread. So new thread new runnable dot start and now here what we want to do firstly we want to get the to do which we want to update. So currently we have two to do's here that is with UID 1 and with UID 2. So let's say we want to update this to do that is with UID 2 and we want to change the completed field to be true. So let's see how do we do that. So here inside the run method firstly we will get the to do with the UID 2. So to do to do equal to to do room database dot get instance and the context would be application context dot to do DAO dot find to do by ID and the ID this time would be two. So we have this to do inside this thing here that is this to do here and now what we would like to do we would like to update this to do so let's set its completed field to be true so to do dot to do dot set completed to be true like this because we have this method inside our to do entity class that is set completed method and if we open our to do entity class here we can see that we have this method here that is set completed so we are accessing that method here and now what we can do we can simply call our update method inside our to do interface so to do room database dot get instance dot get application context dot to do dao dot update to do and here we can simply pass in the to do itself like this and here we can make a log statement that the to do has been updated so to do has been updated like this and now Let's run our application and let's see if we are able to change the completed fields to be false, to be true rather. So now firstly, let's get a list of all to do's. So here we see that we have two to do's again with UID 1 and 2 and the first UID to do has a completed field false. So let's change it to true. So let's click on update a to do. And here we see that to do has been updated and let's get a list of all to do's again. And here we see that the first to do has a completed field false, but rather that UI, uh, but rather that to do with UID two has a completed field to be true, and that's because I just I wanted to change to do with UID one, but rather here I have passed the to do with UID two, so that's why we are seeing this thing here because we have passed in to do with UID two. So let's change the completed field of the to do with UID one to be true. So let's pass in here one instead of two. So now let's run it again and let's see if we are able to change the completed field of the first to do. So get all to do's now update a to do and now let's click on get all to do's. And now we see that the to do with UID one has been updated because it's completed field has been set to true. And this is how you update a to do or update any row inside your room database. And currently what I'm doing here is that I'm directly accessing this to do object here, but rather you should be making a if check here to verify that that to do is not null. So it should be done like this. So if to do is not equal to null, then only you want to perform these actions. Otherwise it would throw an error like this. So this is the proper way of deleting a, of updating a to do and the same thing is true whenever you want to access this to do that you fetch from your to do room database. So guys that's all about this video and in the next video we'll be looking at how to insert multiple to do's and how to find completed to do's 
and if you have liked this video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you want you can support me on patreon.com i'll provide the link in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day